What's poppin' YouTube family? It's your boy Dwight. Welcome back to the channel. Silverback Siage. Hope all is well with everybody. Today I actually plan to probe back off into my favorite fragrance house. I'm pretty sure y'all have heard that before, so y'all know where I'm going with this. It's a very popular fragrance, but I've heard a lot about it, but I've never got a chance to get my nose on it. So today will be my first time. Keep it locked. Well, let's get right off into it. Today, I'm here with my favorite fragrance house being bond number nine, and I'm here with their fragrance, Greenwich Village. Let's get right off into the box presentation. Now, this will be my second 100 ml bottle. I think they jipped me, didn't give me my plastic piece that goes over the top, but that's all good. I grabbed this one from Jama Shop. So regular, this uh, fragrance right here actually retails for $420, if I'm not mistaken. But I was fortunate enough to be able to get this one for about $215, if I'm not mistaken. Here's your bottle presentation. 100 mils, like I said before. Give me a spot to spray it. Well, let's see what it smells like. Heard a lot about it. A couple good sprays. All right. Main accords for this one. It's fresh, fruity, <coughs> floral, musky, sweet, amber, vanilla, tropical, aquatic, and powdery. This one came out in 2019 with top notes of lychee, cassis, mandarin orange, mid notes, peony, water lily, and jasmine, base notes of ambroxan, praline, vanilla, musk, and oat moss. Well, right off rip, one thing about a Bond Number no. 9 fragrance that's in every one of them that I've discovered thus far, it has a musky dry down. But let's see what it's like in this opening. Mm. Wow. <laughs> the hype is real. The hype is real. Now, what do I get from the opening? I get a lot of the lychee being kind of sweet, floral. But the florals that are in the mid are prevalent throughout, right off rip on this one. So you get that peony, you get that water lily, and you definitely get that jasmine. So I could see how some people would kind of want to lean this scent extremely unisex let me say that because i can't say it's feminine because i don't get a just a straight up feminine vibe but it's sweet a lot of people have also compared this fragrance to baccarat rouge 540 and i can get a little bit of that but i don't really get no hit of saffron and uh this is sweeter than baccarat rouge no warmth really in this one either but what i do get that's in the base i do get some of that vanilla and some of that praline. So I do get a little bit of a nutty vibe. Sweet, floral, nutty vibe. But it's not like an almond nutty vibe. It's more of like the creamy uh, vibe that you get from that praline. But it's definitely sweet. When I can see myself wearing this one, to me, this is a very versatile scent profile to me that would be an all year round scent profile that you could actually pull off. But if I had to, Say when I can see myself wearing this. Fall for sure. Which I didn't have this in the fall. Because it probably would have made my. I'm pretty sure it would have made my fall this. Definitely can pull it off in the spring. Summer I would control the sprays. Because it does have some strength. But it's not an overpowering strength. So this is one that you could probably wear year round. I would have to say. With the floral nuances. And the musky dry down. That you should get out of this. Opening rating for this one, scale from 1 to 10, I'm giving this a strong 8. I will definitely say that it's a fragrance and I got to spend some time with it to see if there's any longevity in this scent profile. But it's a very, very delightful scent profile that I personally believe that I can spray this one on me and I can spray it on my wife. And as it dries down, it's going to go in two different directions as far as our pH balance and what our skin would actually do with it. I recommend that you definitely get your nose on this one to get you a sample or whatever. But if you can actually tap into Jama Shop's price range as far as that retailing at 420 and you can get it around that 
slightly over $200 price point being 50% off, I would say this one is almost a must cop. If you like unisex offerings from Fragrance Houses. If you actually have uh, Greenwich Village in your collection, leave a comment in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. Other than that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I post new content. And other than that, bond number nine keeps knocking them out the park, so I'm going to keep spending money with them. Other than that, that's my time. Peace.